Now, I could just read the patch notes off to you, but I think it'd be more fun if I dropped into LEGO Fortnite and showed you these changes firsthand. Now, the biggest change is the addition of a fishing rod. And to get this fishing rod, you're going to want to go and add some cord. Just into your inventory, it should unlock the recipe. But that's only for the basic. You're going to actually want to add rod to your inventory to unlock the other versions. See how when I do flex wood, I get the third tier. Now, as you can see, crafting it at level three is a little bit expensive, but using a higher rarity fishing rod gives you a better chance of getting better fish. And there are 10 plus fish that you can get using this thing. They also added a hunting dagger, which does more damage if you manage to sneak up behind your enemy. And I'm not sure how effective it is, but we're going to go ahead and try it out as well. Now, let's head on over to the water and get some fishing done. Now, as you can see, these fishing spots are pretty similar to the battle royale versions. I had to build myself a little dock to get out here. Oh, I, I think it's a little bit more high skill than the Battle Royale fishing, though. Hold up. Let's get another bite. We gotta hold it. Yes. Look at that. We got a flopper. And we unlocked a couple recipes as well. Fish filet and a wave break charm. I was going to wait to get to that later in the video, but there are a couple of new charms in the game. We'll check them out at the workbench after we fish a little more. Ah, and we can toss it back, too. Look at that. If you get a little small fry or something. Oh, look at that. I found something different. Is that a jellyfish? No, blue slurp fish, which we can use to make slurp juice. And we actually tapped out that fishing hole. Okay. Now, before we head back, I want to test this dagger real quick. And unfortunately, poor little sheep, you are my test subject. Four damage from behind. Compared to three from the front? Is that really even worth it? Considering that my crossbow does seven. I don't think people are really going to be using this dagger. I probably wouldn't recommend you using it. I don't really see the benefit over a sword right now. In order to make these fish fillets, we're going to need a food processor. And that means first, we're going to have to use a lumber mill in some fashion just to unlock the recipe. And see right there, we got our food processor. And wow, this food processor is actually quite sizable. I wanted to put it in my kitchen. Do I really have any room here? It's kind of going to be in the way. I'm going to move it over to the next room. And all we do is put some fish inside of it does it make two per oh it does it makes two per and then with the fish fillet we get more recipes to make some sushi wow but i just got a bait bucket now oddly you actually make the bait bucket at the food processor so you just turn those fillets right around and make some bait buckets and i think because they can stack they're gonna have limited uses wow and there's even higher rarities of them that's zany so i guess it'll make your fishing holes better and with a better rod you'll have more time to fish from the same hole i do find it odd that the other bait buckets come from the juicer and they don't necessarily require the fish you get the bait bucket first and then you put more things into it the top tier appears to be slap juice and spicy burger pretty high demand maybe we'll do a clickbait video on that in the future but for now let's just enjoy that sushi nom 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 and looking back at the crafting bench at the charm we unlocked it is the wave break charm which actually accelerates your swimming speed which is huge because your swimming speed is entirely dependent on your stamina you cannot get very far in the water as it was before so i'm very interested to see how this works out maybe this is a hint at them adding island biomes in the future who knows but there is one more charm we're gonna have to refer to the patch notes for and that is actually the reflection charm which may end up being one of the most important charms in this game since it deals some of the damage you take back at the attacker when you get hit this is going to make the fights against the much tougher opponents like the behemoths or those little rolling bugs much easier now there's actually a list of all the fish available in lego fortnite and there are 15 of them with a legendary variation of each one and they do say that they're going to give us a way to display them in the future so if you catch the legendary ones don't turn them into food quite yet and one last thing i want to talk about before we get into the changes to the other game modes is the addition of sand and glass now you're gonna have to go to the desert biome and take a shovel with you and you're gonna need a metal smelter which means you're gonna need a max level village but once you attain glass you'll 
be able to make a spyglass, which obviously will let you look very far into the distance. One of the coolest things they've put into the game, but not only that, a compass. And this is huge because previously you're having to constantly refer to your map to maintain your direction. Now you'll have a sense of where you're actually going and it's gonna make traveling much easier in Lego Fortnite. Now, if you'd like to see me do some challenge videos on Lego Fortnite in the future, particularly catching every legendary fish, be sure to comment down below and let me know. But there's one more thing I should mention about Lego Fortnite, and it's that you're gonna be able to publish your own Lego Fortnite maps very soon. And there's some people that have been doing very insane custom builds in this game. There's not a lot of mechanics yet, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work out within the content sharing community, but I have a lot of faith that Lego Fortnite is gonna become much more complex as time goes on. I think this game is primed to replace Minecraft eventually. It just needs much more updates than it has now. But that's really it for this update. And since there's no major changes to Battle Royale, I recommend you check out this video next to me, because I got a lot of tip videos that I put up recently that I'll help you get those victory royales as easy as possible. Be sure to comment down below what you thought of this season of Fortnite, what you're hoping for in the next season of Fortnite, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.